Hey everybody, this is Matt Shu from Upright Health, and today I wanted to talk with you about cam impingement and um, the idea that cam impingement will necessarily lead to uh, severe osteoarthritis in your hips. Uh, I get emails a lot, I get comments, I get messages from Facebook, um, I get just messages from all over the place um, from people who say I have cam impingement and it's so severe I don't know what to do and I don't think I can ever get better because the bone is this bad and uh, you know do you think I can get better um, I, I realize that there you you know the the what most people have been told about cam impingement is that you're basically going to end up with arthritis in the next couple of years if you don't fix this ASAP um, so I'm always looking to make sure that what I'm saying uh, is not putting you in undue danger. So when people present stuff like that to me, I go around and look to see if there is data or some information that would back up the assertion that something like cam impingement would necessarily lead to osteoarthritis. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, there's a study done in 2009, uh, it was called Predictors of Progression of Osteoarthritis and Femoral, Acetab Femoral Acetabular uh, Impingement. And in this study, they looked at 43 patients who have CAM impingement, and then they followed them for 10 years to see if the CAM impingement was related to the development of further uh, or more severe uh, uh, symptom, uh, not symptoms, but severe osteoarthritis. Uh, in images of their hips. And so the conclusion of their study after 10 years, um, quick quote, the results of the study suggest that mild to moderate osteoarthritis in hips with a pistol grip deformity, which is the cam impingement, will not progress rapidly in all patients, with one third of them taking at least 10 years to manifest, although we have no evidence that it will ever do so. A hip with cam impingement is not always destined for end-stage arthritic degeneration. Okay, so um, the idea that cam impingement is definitely going to lead to problems is not backed up. This study actually looks at other um, other structural things that may uh, may predict uh, whether the osteoarthritis is, is going to get worse. Um, which I think is still barking up the wrong tree because we're, you know, in this in this line of inquiry, we're still using uh, X-rays, CT scans, MRIs to try to predict what's going to happen. And one, um, you know, one metaphor that I've seen for this that I think is perfect. It's done by um, done uh, by a uh, I believe he's an orthopedic doctor in Colorado. I forgot his name, but. Uh, the metaphor that he used for using, you know, images to try to predict problems is basically the same as taking a picture of two cars on a street and then trying to say, well, if they're this close, they're going to hit, right? So if you're trying to predict what's going to happen in movement by using still images, you are going to be sorely, sorely disappointed, right? Um, also, um, another thing to consider, and, and I'll probably go into this in another video, is that um, the appearance of arthritis, the severity of arthritis in an x-ray, in a joint, even if you have level 4 osteoarthritis in the x-ray, it doesn't actually correlate to symptoms that would indicate that you have level four osteoarthritis. Um, so uh, I actually have a, a link on that for, uh, for the study that was done. Uh, it's actually in the Journal of Rheumatology back in 2000. So they actually did, um, I'll just share it with you right now. Um, they did an analysis of the discordance between radiographic changes and knee pain in osteoarthritis of the knee. So basically they looked, um, they looked at people who had um, osteoarthritis in their x-rays 
uh, level two to four, so basically mod moderate to severe in the x-rays. And, um, and what they found was that basically um, it didn't matter what showed up in the x-ray, your symptoms didn't really correlate. And so they actually looked at, um, they looked at 6,880 uh, people ages 25 to 74 in the United States to kind of put this study together. And they found that no matter what, uh, you know, the, the correlation between the level of arthritis that you could supposedly see in the x-ray just didn't match up with what the person was experiencing. So that's probably a, a whole other conversation for another day, but it basically comes down to um, a new movement in medicine. Um, a lot, I'm, I'm not the one who's starting this. This is something that's going on throughout the medical community is this idea that you should move away from trying to diagnose and treat everything based on x-rays CT scans and MRIs. They can be useful in certain ways, but in dealing with joint mobility issues, um, the track record has not been particularly good. So anyway, if, if you are dealing with cam impingement, you're worried about arthritis, I hope those, um, those pieces of information are a little more um, calming for you. They give you a little more perspective so you can think about, um, think about what you can actually do to start helping yourself. Um, so don't give up. And remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.